Hello again, Doofiend here, coming to you from an abomination to nature. Um, it's still loading in here, but it is the AH-64 Apache, which is kind of the F-18 of the rotary world. Um, this week, I am not flying the uh, Huey, but I am flying everything except for the Huey. I am going to go across the same obstacle course with the same rules as my last video. Uh, if I go above 100 meters AGL, I blow up. Um, yeah. Uh, the Apache, uh, I'm not a big fan of. We tend to disagree a lot on how a helicopter should fly. Uh, this is very much trimmed out for a hover, and I'm trying to get out of a hover. And having a little bit of an issue with it. Um, Another big difference that is hit near out the head and shoulders is that the rudder pedals are only for turning the helicopter. The anti-torque rotor is controlled by computer. So there's no need for me to touch the rudder pedals unless I specifically want to bring the nose around. Uh, that complaint aside, I... That little monocle thing's giving me a headache. Anyway, I come up on the wires here, see if I can dump the autopilots are actually fighting me on the collective here. I'm actually not able to dive below a certain rate without <laughs> the computers interfering. Anyway, under the wires. Okay, I'm under. Uh, let's see here if I can get above these trees. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, the autopilot is definitely fighting me here. I guess that's a good thing. At any rate, not doing terribly here. So I can bring it down into that little opening and I actually can't. Wow. Alright. Let's see if I can get to the second FARP land, turn around and go all the way back. Oh. Now, because I haven't changed the trim here, the autopilot should put me into a hover when I let go of the stick. All I have to do now, as I speed off speed, is not gain a whole lot of altitude. Hey! Come on, helicopter! Alright. Speed's bleeding off. Coming down. This actually looks pretty good. Oh, no, I take that back. That's, what, that's VRS. Oh, pff, yeah, that's what VRS looks like. And I don't think I have a tail anymore. Let's take a look. External view here. Yep, no tail. Alright. I am... Yeah, that's the end of the Apache for today. Let's try a different one. Alright, here's the KA-50. I have had this for several years. I've probably got the most seat time out of all the helicopters in this particular helicopter. That said, I'm still not any good with this. Um, it is the overly homicidal autopilots, and there are many of them. And each one of them does a very good job of doing exactly what it wants to do. And when I want to do something different, it tries to kill me. Uh, the counter-rotating blade uh, design requires a lot of autopilot correction behind the scenes. And so it's the advantages of the counter rotating blades is uh, negated by the fact that autopilots will try to kill you. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Here we go. Got some good altitude control here. Got some good attitude control. Just bringing it around across the course here.
I like this helicopter. I just don't like how not dynamic going from one type of flight to another type of flight is. I do intend to probably upgrade it to the Black Shark 3 when it comes out. Uh, I'm actually having some trouble um, changing altitude here. Barely made it underneath the wires. Again, the autopilot says, oh, you want to dump the collective? Um, yeah, I'm not going to let you do that. And again, it's trying to fight me here. Because it's not sure if I want to be in forward flight or in a hover. So you can see me pitching around, nose down, nose up. It's just... Yeah, I'm fighting the autopilot the entire way here. That said, I do wish that the Huey had some of the capabilities that this helicopter has. The long range uh, missiles are guided. Just absolutely fantastic helicopter. In terms of blowing things up. In terms of blowing yourself up, it's also fantastic. Leading off the speed here, coming in for landing. Yeah, I'm probably playing it a little cautious here. Uh, that is because in the, what, three years I've had this module, I don't think I have ever had the opportunity to land one that was ever more than 100 miles an hour through the air. Yeah, usually, yeah, once I get into forward flight, I either get killed by the enemy or I blow up from the autopilot or something. So I am being very careful here. A little low. Let's see if I can just keep this hover going. Yeah, I don't think I could ask for a better landing than this. This is actually working out really well. Alright. There we go. And I'm down. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video is because I made the assertion in another video that the Huey was a good school ground for learning basic helicopter skills. And the assertion was that if I learn it in the Huey, then that translates to some of these other helicopters. And I'm not sure that that's true anymore. <laughs> This is definitely a different, very different mode of transportation than the Huey. Um, the Apache, again, just with all those autopilots, is just a completely different skill set. And I don't think that a lot of these skills are translating. Uh, skills that I have demonstrated in another video. This pre video previous to this one. And, um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is definitely a different animal. A completely different type of thing. Alright, let's see if I can get below here, dumping the collective, trying to get down. Come on, am I low enough? Am I low enough? Yeah, you know, oh, okay, I, uh, yeah, I hit the wire there. I can see the ground, thank you. Okay, here's the hind. Uh, I'm not really trying to hover here, I just decided to screw things up and hit the bottom. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not very good. That's okay. Still, I really like this helicopter. I really don't like Petrovich, though, which kind of negates, like, 
this helicopter's primary weapon system. Uh, that said, this is a completely different thing to how the Huey flies. Yep, still have my wing. All right. Uh, this actually, in many ways, feels more like a warbird in that in, in forward flight it's incredibly stable. Um, you fly it with the autopilot and the trim and just, yeah, it feels much more like a slow airplane rather than a helicopter. And that actually is a really incredibly good thing, but it's in no way like the Huey. All right, I'm gonna dump the collective and get under the wire here. There we go. Yay, I made it under. All right, let's see if I can hit these trees. All right, no trees. Back onto the road, more trees. Right where I want to be able to look. All right, there we go. So, what looks stable here is the helicopter itself. The helicopter is doing most of the work here, and I can't attribute the stability to anything along the lines of my control inputs. It's just there's no skill on my part. It's just kind of flying straight and level without me doing a whole lot of other things to it. This all is due to the aerodynamic de or aerodynamic design of the helicopter. Now let's see if I can bleed off speed without gaining a ton of altitude. So yeah, here this is working out pretty well. All right. The dis or this advantage of turning to the left here is that I'm working against the rotor blades, so I might actually go into some VRS if I turn to the left too fast. A low altitude warning. Alright, this is actually looking great. I might just be able to land this one here. Alright. This is a nice landing. I am happy with this. Here we go. I'm down. Huh? All right. Okay. Well, let's try the Mi-8. And already, I just spawned in, and I'm in trouble here. I actually do really like the old battle bus. This is not a bad helicopter. In many ways, it's a lot better in terms of payload capacity, in terms of armaments, in terms of a lot of the other things. This is a lot better in many ways than the Huey, but it is definitely a big, big helicopter. Uh, and it feels it doesn't really have the stability or really even the speed of the hind even though it's got a very similar uh, engine and transmission layout uh, the main problem I have with this is VRS that this will go into VRS and not a hover in any shape or form here uh, another problem I have with this typically is bleeding off speed. I tend to gain a lot of altitude, and hopefully that does not screw me up here. Managed to take care of it in the hind. Let's see here. Yeah, it's actually. Um, Happy with how straight this is. Just not happy with how high I have to be to get over these trees because I'm just not maneuverable enough to get in between them. Oh, I'm gaining altitude here, bleeding off speed. Oof! Ah, okay, there's that 100 meter mark. 
Kaboom. Alright, here's the gazelle. Now the gazelle is twitchy. Um, it's not actually faster. It feels fast, but it is not actually faster than the Huey. Just need to be able to try to keep it in a straight line here. Okay, yeah, this is this is about all I can handle here. This is yeah, this is a handful. Okay, here we go. All right, got some forward flight. Got the tail keeping me more or less straight here. Okay, I've got some control. Actually, I have a decent amount of vertical control here. The collective, I'm. Pretty happy with this. Uh, I do have curves on my cyclic up to 26 for this particular flight because it is just too much. Any more than that, it becomes unresponsive until you get to the ends of the stick travel and then you just kind of go flipping all over the place. It's just. Ah, this helicopter. I don't know. Um, there we go. Nice and low. Going under the wires. Yeah. It is really a handful, though. I'm trying to cancel this out. I'm really using a lot of fine control, even with these curves. Um, the other disadvantage to this particular helicopter at least over the hind or some of the other ones, is that if you want to look up abandoned wear in the dictionary, this comes up under that listing. It is definitely abandoned wear. It is so bad. Uh, how it has not been improved over the years. Um, that said, I really like it. Even though it's twitchy, this is the most like the Huey of all the other helicopters in this game. We'll see how the OH-58 does when that comes out. Um, but it is just... It is just a nimble little mosquito that goes flipping around if you're not really gentle with the controls. It's, uh, but I like it because it is uh, much like a rotary wing warbird with a little cannon on the side and little rockets. It does not have much punch, but it is just so nimble. So here I am, coming in, burned off a lot of the speed. This is actually, it might work out here, dropping a little too fast. This is another helicopter that I do not land often. And this is why, ah! All right, saved it, more or less, maybe not. Okay, let's see if I can bring it over to the pad. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, ooh, did I break the landing gear? Oh, the external view. No, okay, landing gear's still there. Okay, all right, let's land this. Uh, this is where it really, really does not shine. This helicopter is just so twitchy. Okay, all right, I'm trying to neutralize that, and I've over-neutralized. Yeah, well, okay, just, oh, look, there's a bit of hind. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, let's see if I can bring this down, just anywhere on the far, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, uh, can I do it? Can I do it? Okay, down, I just not stopped. Ooh, okay, all right, I stopped. <laughs> this is so hard. All right. Now I'm going to go back, reverse through the entire obstacle course and land where I originally took off without going above 100 meters. Alright. Yeah, I really miss the stability of the, of the, uh, the Huey compared to this. Oh, come on up, 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 up. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, drop into the clearing. Yeah, if this looks boring, then I'm doing it right. However, this helicopter is not very boring. 
Uh, I am going between the trees a lot more than I am with the other helicopters because it's controllable enough. That's, I guess, a point in its favor. Alright, let's see if I can get down below the wire here. Do not want to end up like the KA-50. Come on, come on down. There we go. Don't hit the ground. Don't hit the ground. There we are. Okay. And I'm under and through. I just might make this. <laughs> this is great. Did not expect this from this helicopter. This, uh... Yeah, this is, this is going really well. Famous last words, right? Okay. Let's bring it down. Into ground effect. Yay! I would say that Huey's skills translate to this because it's more or less the same skill set, except that it's just mad how rapidly this rolls and pitches. Ah. Uh, yeah, see, I just, I did not intend to go that far. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's bring this in for a nice, safe, calm, boring, boring landing. Come on, let's do this. Boring, come on. Yeah, we're neutralizing the speed. Actually pretty happy with that. All right, get into hover. Into hover, don't crash, don't crash, more collective. Up, 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 okay, oof. Just banged on the ground a little bit. I'm still good. I can see both skids in the shadow. And uh, it's at this point that I saw that I screwed up. Okay. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.